Okay, as you can see, that was way too sensitive. Um, and I think it's because the disc was just too light. So uh, I added weight by putting four clamps evenly around it. And now I feel like I can add um, a little bit of weight and it doesn't completely destabilize. So I'm going to make a thicker disc with a little more weight and hopefully uh, a new disc works. If not, I'll glue this one onto the other one and see if maybe that's finally heavy enough. And if that doesn't work, um, I'll try to attach some weights to the bottom so that the game top is still flat. And uh, hopefully we'll problem solve this thing and, and make a game that works. Okay, as you can see, I, I've got it pretty balanced now. Um, what I had to do is put a, another layer of plywood underneath it and, um, I, and then I had to tape a couple of, of these little washers in certain spots. It's, it's pretty delicate to get the balance right, but now if a person were to start the game and get a six, they could put a block on uh, and it's not going to tumble uh, because it's not so sensitive that the, the very first piece is going to make it fall. Uh, you know, and the closer you are to the center, the less angle it's going to be. So I think the game is playable as it is right now. Okay, to play the game it's really simple. Every player picks a quadrant and when it's their turn they roll a dice. Whatever number they get up they've got to place uh, one of these wooden blocks in that circle section and there's three different types of wood. We've got uh, fir which is light, ash which is kind of a medium weight, and ipe which is really heavy. And you don't win the game per se, you lose the game if you upset the whole board and it's perfectly fine to stack pieces on top of each other and try to develop a strategy where you don't tumble the board but you make it very precarious for the next player. So that's how you play.